this segment, we're taking a look at Robert I. Stone, whom I. Stone Elementary up in Wellington is named for. I. Stone was long associated with the schools in that area as a teacher and later as a principal, as a coach. And uh, after he retired, he also served two terms as the mayor of Wellington. Robert I. Stone is portrayed today by Ed Rice. And Ed Rice is a, was a student under Robert I. Stone at Wellington. I. Stone was his coach. Um, Ed later was a teacher and an administrator with I. Stone up at Wellington. And let's take a look at this segment. My name is Robert H. I. Stone. The H stands for Harmon. I was born March 31st, almost April Fool's Day, in 1908 in Yuma, Colorado. The parents were Ava Bard and Robert I. Stone. They came from Nebraska to homestead land in Yuma County. They had 160 acres there. I had two brothers and two sisters. I attended a small country school in Yuma County for the elementary and Waverly High School outside Yuma for high school. In 1926, I took and passed an exam given to those who wanted to teach as an emergency teacher. And I was just out of high school and I passed the test. I taught two years in Buffalo Grass School in Yuma County. It was a one room school. 40 students, grades one through eight, and I was the only teacher. I, w I wanted to be a doctor, so I enrolled at C CU. I found out later that I wouldn't have m enough money to graduate as a doctor, so I had to change. My next step was to go to Colorado State Teachers College in Greeley, and I graduated with a teaching degree and certification in math science, English, and Latin. Later, I also attended Colorado State University and got my master's degree in educational administration and guidance and counseling. After I received my degree from Colorado State uh, College in Greeley, I went back to Yuma County and taught two years at East Waverly School. Then I moved to Yuma of the Hereford, Colorado, which is a short distance from uh, Grover for four years. Then I moved to Rocky Ridge High School, which is up on Highway 1 toward Wellington for four years, taught seventh and eighth grade. And then I moved up to Waverly High School. Many of you didn't even know that Waverly had a high school way back, but Waverly High School, uh, I went there in 1939. 45. I was the principal there. Then I was contacted about the superintendent's job in Wellington, Colorado. Well, I had heard a lot of things about the Wellington kids, and I didn't know whether I really wanted to go there or not. <laughs> uh, but I decided to try it out for one year. Well, I went there in 1945, and I retired there in 1972. My philosophy of education was this, teach the basics well. I was a d tough disciplinarian when needed and a father and confident when that was needed. I wanted my teachers to stress reading, writing, and spelling. I always taught a class even when I was principal and superintendent. I felt I had a better rapport with the students whenever I, I met them in the classroom. I also loved to coach. At Waverly, I was football and basketball coach. And one of those years, we took the state championship. When I moved to Wellington, I was football coach from 45 to 49. Won a lot of conference championships. And, that, and I also coached basketball from 45 to 53. Again, we won many conference championships. And at the state tournament in 51, we took third place second place in 1952, and we were the state champions in 1953. I retired in 1972. In 73, they built a new uh, elementary school 
in Wellington, and they named it Eyestone Elementary. I was pleased, but I figured they made way too much over the name. The townspeople and surrounding area gave me a gift when I retired. It was what I call a hothouse. I could grow my garden all year round. I really enjoyed that and, and watching my plants grow. I was known as much for what I did for the community as what I did for uh, as a superintendent of schools. I was always planting and irrigating bushes and grasses and trees around the school. During the summer, we didn't have uh, anybody to take care of that. People also then realized I was more than just a superintendent. I cared about the community. After my retirement in 1972, I turned my attention to civic things. I was mayor of Wellington from 1972 to 1978. During those years, I planted and irrigated new grass areas and trees in the Volunteer Park in North Wellington. I put in many hours on this project. I was a member of the First Presbyterian Church, the Lions Club, Toastmasters, Wellington Fire Department, which was all volunteer, and the Odd Fellows. My family, my wife, Doris Eyestone, was born July 20th, 1910, as Doris Margaret Rutledge in Maywood, in Maywood, Nebraska. Her family came to Yuma County in a covered wagon when she was just a baby. She was a classmate of mine at Waverly Country School and lived in our house while her parents waited to move to another farm that they had bought. Doris was an excellent basketball player. She attended Corral State Teachers College for two years and we married June 14, 1931, in Yuma. She taught school in Yuma County, substitute teacher at Rocky Ridge School, at Waverly School, and in the Wellington Schools. She was active in Wellington. She was on the town board, belonged to all the town clubs. She worked at the post office. She was always a helpful person. She passed away in 1972. Our daughter, Janine I. Stone Hess, was born in Greeley in 1942. We adopted her as a baby when we were in Waverly. She was three when we moved to Wellington. She graduated from Wellington High School in 1960, went to Greeley and CSU, and joined the uh, Women's Army Corps. She married Bill Hess in 1962. They had two children, both boys, and they again adopted a baby girl. The son, Robert I. Stone, was born in 1947 while we were uh, in Wellington. Attended all 12 grades there, graduated, had a short marriage, had a daughter by that marriage, and he just retired this year from a teaching career in Colorado and, and uh, Kansas. <coughs> I passed away October 3, 1990, at age 82. I loved every minute of my time in Wellington. People say I'll be remembered for a long time. I cared about the students, and I cared about the entire community. But I thought I was just doing my job. 